Hi everybody, this is day three of the stay at home football video clips. Um, today I will start with the coaching clips. Um, I also do some basics um, on Facebook but also here on Instagram. So today also in English because there might be some other European football coaches out there who are interested in some basic knowledge. I will start very easy and then probably over the next days and weeks progress into some more advanced stuff. But today is also the day that Tom Brady goes to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady Brady is known <clears throat> for being the best small ball player maybe to ever play the game. And he does exactly that or he has been doing exactly that. He has taken what the defense gives him. So today we're going to look at this concept of um, not forcing it, of taking what the defense gives you um, and we'll focus on the quick passing game aspect of it so what are we going to cover pretty quickly here we're gonna look at double stops double slants the five in concept the fade out concept and the double stick concept and this will be a three by one uh, passing concept. First, I really want to say that when we talk about take what the defense gives you and we're looking at a spread formation, we have to understand that when we get this box, this is a five man box, that taking what the defense gives you means running the ball. But for our uh, teaching uh, and, 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 and talk now about quick game, we assume that the box is loaded with at least one more um, defender that we can block. And this is um, not counting the quarterback <clears throat> as a runner. So let's have a look at double stops. When do I like to use double stops? I like to use it especially versus cover three defenses where we have two linebackers in the box, an outside linebacker right here, a cornerback off and a free safety off. We are only looking at this half side here. We are running two five yard stops. And as you can already see, this outside linebacker here has a tough time to defend number one and number two. And in order for this linebacker to get out very fast, he must be aligned further outside. And if he's further outside, he's not in the box anymore. anymore. And we are talking five man box again. So if we stay out here, the read for the quarterback is clear. We do have one isolated defender, the outside linebacker, or in the boundary also often, the roll down safety. And this defender is our read. If he's not fast outside, we will hit the outside stop every time. But if our quarterback catches the snap and he already sees this linebacker sprinting out towards number one, we will hit the slot receiver. I prefer this in the box, uh, in, the, in, the, in the boundary, as the throw is much shorter and with a well put ball, we can also aim at the outside shoulder or inside shoulder of a stop and throw the receiver open in case there is tighter coverage. The next uh, we will look at Again, just quickly here, we will look at the double slants. Now the double slants, it's just called double slants in, in my um, terminology. It's attacking a too high defense first and foremost, a too high defense. And this route here we call a win route. And this route will go through the inside shoulder of this outside linebacker here as tight as possible. And if the outside linebacker decides to move outside, 
this route will adjust and still run as tight as possible through the inside shoulder of this linebacker. Why is it? So our base rule is that this is a three-step slant, very important, three-step flat, yeah? three-step flat slant. We throw the outside receiver every time unless the flat defender widens hard. But if this guy widens hard, that means usually that this linebacker, the next linebacker inside also widens hard. So we want to make sure with this win route in here, if he's widening, that we widen with him. So the catch point is as far away from this guy as possible. Because what we say is that a defender with momentum towards the sideline, like this guy is running towards the sideline, he cannot make a play on his inside, basically on his back. So we actually chase this guy if he runs outside, open the window to the next uh, defender inside as far as possible and then hit him in stride. Big plays waiting to happen. But again, the base rule for double slant, this is very important to, to say again here, is that this guy wants to control this guy and we throw right after the break, we throw this slant and this is like basketball here, we have good leverage on this cornerback so we can uh, catch this ball. Also a great um, way to uh, attack man coverage. Just in case you're wondering how this slant concept could look versus a cover three look where we have maybe a linebacker, not here anymore, a safety up top. Then we have him out here. This I like to play with bubble slant as this is a straight horizontal stretch for him. If he stays on the slant, we're gonna hit the bubble. But if this linebacker decides to flatten out hard because he is supposedly an area one defender and gets something, we will hit this land right behind, very important, right behind uh, when they crossed face. Because don't forget, if one defender is going out, that usually means the second defender is also going out. Now I will skip or just quickly go into the fade from the inside receiver and the five in concept, something I learned over the last years really to like a lot. Here the slot receiver is running through the outside shoulder and is actually just building a wall right here, the opposite of the route we've seen before in double slants. This is just a fade route, really going through the outside shoulder of this defender. And then the five in times really well, it's not as fast inside. So the catch point is far outside and it's a big stretch on this guy. And we again can throw a lot of good completions also to the field. I have to hurry up a little bit as the video clip is not allowed to be longer than 10 minutes on Instagram, I think. So the next thing we look at is a fade out concept. We like this the most again versus too high defenses as now we have a linebacker here almost in the box as now we can isolate this cornerback very well so we can either throw the fade versus cover two if this cornerback bites hard on the out that means that the ball will be thrown right behind his back here in this area so that the safety cannot get there or if the cornerback decides to sink with the fade then we can hit this window right here for the fade out. Okay, so I will just call this now two by two quick passing and we will follow up with three by one quick passing and maybe can go into some more depth in one of the next videos. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I stayed in time um, and you will um, be able to watch another stay at home coaching clip quite soon. Thank you for watching.